Hello everybody, it's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. So glad you guys could join me for a simple stamping video. It's a double feature today. So I've got two cards to share with you. This is using a brand new bundle called the Harvest Hellos. Such a great one. You notice we can create an apple card or a pumpkin card. These cards truly made me smile. And the sentiment is you make me smile. But I loved the bright colors. I love the festive look. I love that it reminds me of fall. And uh, they were very easy to create. And it's all about simple here at Simply Simple Stamping. So I say we get started with today's double feature. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and go over the card stock you need to create the card. Uh, I'm gonna use Whisper White Thick as my card base. That is cut four and a quarter. Uh, by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches. That means it's going to fit into one of our medium envelopes or our clear envelopes. To create the pumpkin version of our card, we're going to be using three different colors, pumpkin pie, petal pink, and Calypso Coral. You notice I have two pieces of each. I have a square that is two and a half by two and a half. And then I have strips. These are one inch by four inch. But if you want to create the apple version of the card, I've chosen Granny Apple Green, Real Red, and Crushed Curry. Same measurements, two and a half. My strips here are one inch by four inch. You're also going to need just a little scrap of either Early Espresso or Soft Suede. This is going to be for the stem. And are you ready for teeny tiny? Uh, I have a little piece here. This is three quarters of an inch by one and a half inch. This will be for our sentiment. The star of the show today is the Harvest Hellos Bundle. Love this, we get the stamp set and the matching punch. And I hope you notice that the punch is actually an apple or a pumpkin. So yes, you're gonna get double duty out of that one. We've got some great sentiments and things going on here. For this card, because it is a double feature, we'll create an apple card and we'll create a pumpkin card. I'm gonna create the pumpkin card for you today. We're gonna to use the Memento Black ink and uh, I do want you to know everything I'm doing on this card will be exactly the same for the apple card. We're going to ink up our pumpkin and stamp that in the center of your two and a half inch squares. Let's repeat that on all three squares. And for the apple card, you see we're just going to stamp on all the squares with the apple stamp. Let's go ahead and finish up all of our stamping. I'm going to say, you make me smile. Let's stamp that here on that little tiny piece of Whisper White. And with that, our stamping is done. You're now going to come in with the punch. We're going to punch out either our pumpkins or our apples. What to do with these strips? They're a little plain. And so for today's video, I'm going to use an embossing folder. I have the swirls and curls. I'm going to do a different one for my apple, but we're gonna use swirls and curls on our pumpkins because I thought the swirls just kind of looked like the little swirl that comes, you know, the little vine that comes off a pumpkin. I thought it worked well. We're gonna place those into our embossing folder and run that through our embossing die cutting machine. And there we go. Now, if you don't have an embossing folder or you don't have a machine, you could also stamp maybe a great background on these and I think that would look awesome as well. Now, let me go ahead and show you what we're going to do with our apple pieces. I thought the basket weave lent itself perfect to apples, don't you think? So we can place uh, our strips of cardstock. Make sure these are nice and straight because that basket weave has a direction. We can run that through our die cutting and embossing machine. To create the stems, you can see I've got a little stem right here. I'm going to take that little scrap of early espresso. And you can see I've punched out one. I can slide it down, punch it again, and one more. I'm going to do that with glue dots. I'm just going to take the top of the pumpkin, and you see I've just pressed the glue dot right there onto the top. Let's do that to all three. A little tip for you. When you're creating the apple, you're going to put the thick part down at the bottom. You're gonna flip it around and put the thick part up at the top when it comes to your pumpkin. So, because a pumpkin stem, is thicker up at the top. So you can see that glue dot's just going to hold that on there. So adorable, right? All right, guys, guess what? It is time to put our card together. 
I prefer to lay it out before I put it together. So I kind of have an idea of what colors I want to go there. I think I'm good with that. So we're going to start to adhere. I want to start with the middle strip. I've put snail adhesive down the back, and I'm gonna start by adhering this to the middle of my cardstock. Now, a tip, and you guys have heard me share this tip before, don't press anything down until we get them all down, you know, adhered down and we know that we're happy with it. So, let's add our remaining two. And the reason I don't like to really press things down because it gives me the ability to kind of move things around, make sure I'm good and straight, I'm centered. You know what, I think I'm good with that. We'll give that a back rub. Now we can add our pumpkins, and I'm gonna do that with just snail on the back. I'm not going to put snail adhesive on the pumpkin pie version because I'm going to do that a little bit differently. So I've got snail on the back of these two pumpkins. We'll adhere those. This one, we're gonna do Stampin' Dimensionals. Three of them ought to do it, and that one can go right in the center. I've got dimensionals on the back of my sentiment, and I'm just going to put that on a little ski wampas. I think it looks really cute that way. And there is our pumpkin card. Now I want to show you what the final card look like, looks like when I did it with the apples. Both fantastic fall cards. The cards are done exactly the same. Oh, I do need to show you. I did put a little leaf on the red apple. In the apple punch, there is actually a leaf. So I just punched that out of the scrap that was left over when I punched out my granny apple green. I thought it lent itself nicely to the cart. And guys, there we go. Two perfect cards for the fall. I absolutely love how they came out. But I gotta tell you, what I think I love the most is the versatility of this punch that I can go from a pumpkin to an apple like that. So if you've got a friend who's a big apple fan, or maybe you've got one who is like Gaga for pumpkin spice, either one of these cards is going to be a perfect one, and it's definitely going to brighten their day. You must admit that if this shows up in their mailbox, amongst the bills and amongst the junk mail, they are definitely going to smile. And it's such a simple card to create. Remember, if you don't have embossing folders, look around, see what kind of maybe backgrounds you have. Or maybe you could just give it some texture with some sponging. Get creative. That's the whole point of the videos is to help you find some inspiration to help you get started. I hope you enjoyed today's double feature. But if you want some more information about the cards, maybe you wanna grab those measurements or you're not sure what supplies I used, here's what you can do. Just go to Simply Simply simplestamping.com. Look for the September 28th, 2019 blog post. That's where all the details and photos of the cards will be. And if you need to order any of the supplies, maybe you're ready to add that Harvest Hellos to your uh, next order, click a pick. That is all you need to do. Just click the picture of the item that you're looking for. It's going to take you right to my online store and you can begin your order right there. Guys, I'd be so thrilled to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing me. All right, that is all for me. If you enjoyed the video today, I would love a thumbs up. There's a little thumbs up button right down there below the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, today's a great day to do that. There's a great big red subscribe button. You can't miss it. Click it. YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. I love to share three videos with you each and every week. So I hope that you'll take a moment to subscribe. All right, my friends, that's all for me. I sure do appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.